you have to take your foot off the brake in order to release the full potential of your vehicle. Similarly, you must allow your faith to release its potential by beginning to take small steps. Top of the morning to you. When we consider who we are in Christ, with the mind of Christ and a firm determination to get to know God personally and more fully, and we're active in our pursuit, then we're guaranteed results both in the physical world and in the spiritual world. In the physical world, where the laws of physics have full play, we see in Newton's law of motion or inertia, an object in motion stays in motion, and for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. In other words, because we're actively pursuing this relationship with the Lord, it will naturally be bring about some reaction. Spiritually, we know this according to James 2.20, faith without works is dead. In other words, if we pursue a personal relationship with Father God through an active faith in Jesus Christ, we are guaranteed results. Acts 17.27, we seek the Lord in the hope that we might grope for him and find him, though he's not far from each of us. Verse 28, for in him we live, we move, and we have our being. We understand in the physical world there's a difference between energy and kinetic energy. Energy on its own is just potential, whereas kinetic energy requires movement. The example given is a truck at the top of the hill. The truck is full of potential energy, but if it does not move, that potential energy is wasted. However, put that truck in motion and the kinetic energy is released and the full potential of that truck is released. When we put our faith into action, our full potential as believers is released. Gaining knowledge about God fuels our potential, but it's not until we act on that knowledge that our faith is released and a reaction from God occurs. Hebrews 6 1. Let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ to be taken forward to maturity. Matthew 17 20. Jesus speaking, If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, use it. And if you say to this mountain, move from here to there, it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. Romans 12, 6, if your gift from God is prophecy, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If your gift is serving, then serve. If teaching, then teach. If encouraging, then courage, etc. But don't let your gift just end up being potential unreleased. We have this promise in Ezekiel 36, 27, God speaking, I will put my spirit in you and you and move you to follow my decrees and keep my laws. Verse 28, if you agree to move, you will be my people and I will be your God. Words of encouragement. In the leadership training world, there's nothing more sad than to see someone so full of giftings and potential to do great things. Refuse to act on that potential and settle for lesser experiences. It's the same with our faith. We have unlimited potential with the help of Christ and Holy Spirit within us. Yet we choose to uh, not use that aspect of our life and put our efforts into excelling in the world, reaping temporary benefits instead of storing up for ourselves treasures that never lose their value. It doesn't take much to begin, just faith as small as a mustard seed. Have a great day. Jesus is King.